Okay, I'm going to be doing a number of videos talking about my new game, uh, which is a solitary game called Pet Shop. And it's a game, basically it's a worker placement game with uh, tracking, turn tracking, that has you uh, as the owner of a pet store, and you have to manage that store for a month, earn enough money um, to uh, keep your business open. You want to build reputation with your clients or your customers, and uh, by the end of the month, you want to make sure you have a positive cash flow and a positive reputation. If you, if you can't keep that positive reputation, that's where you'll lose a game, or if you get to the end of the month and you have a negative cash flow, you lose a game. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the layout. This is the starting position of the game. So this first video is just talk about where everything goes and what the components are. So um, on the main game, you have uh, you as the owner, that's your counter, full red, which starts out in the manager's office. And then you have two contractors as employees, starting employees. The first one has to start in the kennel, and the second one can start uh, anywhere you want. Each department is laid out in colors. It's color specific, so just really quick, you have blue as kennels, green is pet training, white is vet veterinarian, yellow is grooming, and orange is sales. The red is, uh, again, the office manager. So employees will match those colors, so they're color consistent with specialists, um, professionals, contractors. Contractors are always gray. Um, professionals will have the full color range that's of that department, and specialists will have this half gray, half specific color. Now you have your starting token, and you have, you'll see that you have a 30-day track, so there's 30 turns in the game. There's delivery cards. These are the animals that could get delivered uh, based on these blue rectangles, and I'll talk about that later. Then you have customer cards. These are all the uh, customers and events and things that happen on a daily basis, because each turn you'll be drawing two of these customer cards. Over here are the animal cards. These are all your cats, dogs, kittens, and puppies. They all range with different initial prices, different things that you can up upgrade on them. And those are really what you need to go through and sell. That's what you're making your money on. That and services that customers want, like if they want to board a dog or if they have a, a, a dog that got bit by a snake, then your veterinarian is going to help them out. Over here in the top right corner, you have your, your money, your bank. Um, I'm going to be adding $50 to those, so there's a little bit more currency. Um, on the right here are each of the counters for all the animals. So you'll have 18 cats, 18 kittens, 18 puppies, and 18 dogs. They all match a, an animal card. So just as a quick example, you'll have a dog, and it'll have orange with a 16, or like a brown with a 16, and, and that image dog. So when you draw an animal card, you'll look for this same counter. And that's what gets played on the board. So you keep those off to the right. Then you have your your um, cubes. So I just use the blue as the service cubes, um, and which are placed on the animal cards. Then the red are to keep track of customer events and um, tasks. And then we have the four white. These are action cubes. These are what you're going to be using each day because each turn you have four actions. So you always start your four actions in the manager's office. Over here is your reputation track. This will have your positive and negative reputation. If you ever go beyond negative four, you lose the game. Over here is the employment agency and training agencies. On top, you can um, hire professionals, which are, as I said, the full color. Then you have your grays, which are contractors. And then down here is the training which you can train a contractor and train him into a specialist. You, you don't train up to professionals, you only hire professionals. So you can hire contractors and professionals or train a contractor into a specialist. Uh, over here you'll have the track. It's your 30 days. Uh, again, the blue rectangle is for animal deliveries and the red circle is for payroll. Um, the dice, I said just get a handful of dice because the way dice work, 
there's a couple things that you roll very very minimal it's based on one of the event cards through a customer or I use them as day trackers so if I have a customer that's going to be doing something with a dog for two days I just put it on a two and then when I move to the next turn I change it to one and then once it goes down to zero that event is over uh, so that's about it the layout um, like I said, the, you have your floor plan of your pet shop, and uh, you'll notice real quick, just the kennels and the, the sales floor have four, and these are the spaces for the animals. If you have a contractor in those areas, they can only do two animals. If you have a specialist, they can do three, and a professional manager for those departments can do four. If you're in a spot where you need to put three animals and you have a contractor, well, this is when you as the manager have a special ability to move into those areas and help out. And you can add your two to where now they can have four. Same thing with the sales department. If you have a contractor in here, then you can now help with two extra display windows. So that's, that's the general layout. This is a starting position of a game of Pet Shop.